Okay, so here's the bike. Basically what it did was took some 5 minute epoxy. You can see here. And I did what, kind of like a, you would with a spot welder. Just to get everything lined up and hold in place. Here's my dropouts. Same thing. Bottom bracket shell. Head tube, top tube, down tube. And you can see what I've done here. I've taken the front fork and I put the headset on and everything just to get everything lined up. And so far from what I can tell, it's lined up really pretty well. So I'm pretty happy with it. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take these joints here. You can see that there's a lot of space between them on the seat stays. So I'm gonna take some some flocks which is uh, cotton, little cotton fiber, mill cotton fiber and I'm gonna mix it with the epoxy over here and we're gonna make a real thick paste and I'm gonna stick it into these joints. When that gets hard it'll be super tough and then I'll sand whatever I can down. I'm gonna wrap this area with carbon fiber. You can see down here on the chain stays I'm gonna put a bunch of I'm gonna put a bunch of the um, the cotton in there, or the flocks, I guess you call it, and then I'm gonna sand this down a bit so it looks a little cleaner, a little nicer. And then I'll wrap it with fiber. I'll try to get the uh, wrap done tonight. Okay, so here's some uh, the powder and the flocks. Doesn't look like it can focus very good on it, but um, basically, I just took the epoxy, mixed it up, and then I put the flocks in it. And we're making this so it's a consistency of a real thick peanut butter. That way, when I put it into the joints in the places that I want it to go, it won't run out. Um, just kind of give you an idea of what the flocks looks like. It's just some white powdery cotton fiber. Okay, so I've added the flocks. Now, just to let you know, when this stuff dries, it's very tough to sand. So, put it in as little places as possible um, that you want filled. Now, I'm using this instead of micro balloon uh, filler, uh, even though the micro balloon filler is is lighter. Uh, just because I want to make sure that I have the strength there um, so this thing doesn't break on me while I'm riding it. So I just pretty much put it in the joints. Um, areas like this where I've, I've overlaid the, or overlapped the, uh, the carbon fiber and I'll put another sheet on it. I'm going to sand that down so that I get a good carbon fiber bond. You can see here I try to squeeze as much stuff up into these tubes as possible so I can sand these tubes down to make them kind of nice. Here's the bottom bracket shell. Um, places like this where I have the five minute epoxy, um, if I were to do it over I'd probably just spot it. Um, it's not going to be a real big deal, I'll sand this down pretty good um, so that when I overlay the carbon fiber here that it'll get a good bond. Here's the head tube area. I got a little sloppy and got a little bit on my headset so be careful when you're doing this stuff. Um, I think I got it off pretty good though. Hopefully I'll be able to get this bottom cup or this top cup out. Uh, you'll notice that my fork sticks out a little bit here. Um, once I've overlaid carbon over everything and got everything um, structurally sound, I'll put another piece of foam right here on the front, shape it, and then wrap it with like one ply of carbon, one or two, maybe two, just so I have the, the uh, nice uh, profile here. Okay, since last night, um, I went ahead and sanded this down. Remember that flocks we put on there. 
Um, don't know if you can see it real good. It actually dries a dark brown, but when you sand it, it gets a little bit lighter. And you can see it here too. Um, I sanded off the front here. There's a little thing that the uh, seat tube used to come down. The seat tube used to come down right here to a point. And then back, didn't really like it much, so sanded it all flat. Um, I need to put a little more flux in here. So I'll do that, and I'm going to go ahead and start doing the wraps with the carbon fiber. Um, see, you can see here I had to sand a lot of this out. And I also had to make a cut right here because of the chain. And what I'll do is... Uh, I don't know if you remember that little piece of non-structural carbon fiber that we did. It's a real pretty one. And I'm going to cut a nice little strip off of it. And I'll put it right on top of this with some probably some five minute. And then I'll wrap it with some some more carbon fiber, maybe two or three layers. That way just to, to get it strong. Um, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you right now. Oh, I also had to make a few adjustments to my dropouts. Um, when I put the wheels on it, it looked a little crooked, which I was surprised. But I think what happened was, is I've got the the hanger, the uh, removable hanger that goes on here. And I think when I put it in the jig and scrolls it down, that the hanger stayed there, but the uh, the dropout actually lifted up a little bit. No big deal. Went in, set everything back up in the jig, and um, made the correct adjustments, and now everything looks straight. Okay, let me show you what I've done here. I went ahead and put carbon fiber on the joints. And it came out pretty good and I've already sanded it down. Um, didn't want to sand too much. You can see a lot of the cloth texture still. Um, don't want to lose the uh, structural integrity. So I've done it there. Here. Around the drop rear dropouts. And around the uh, head tube here. This part was kind of hard to sand here. Um, anyway, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a coat of epoxy on it and uh, let it sit, sand it down, probably epoxy it again, and then test dry it. And if it all works out, clear coat it, sand it, clear coat it, sand it, clear coat it probably, and then put the whole thing together. Okay, so here we are. I just went ahead and put a, a layer of epoxy on here. I thought I'd go ahead and show you how I usually do this. Um, I used to just take a nitro glove like this and uh, mix some resin up. Mix it up good. Get it on your fingers. And then I just wipe it on with my glove like this. You can see in there it makes it nice and shiny. See, you can see my reflection in there. So anyway, just wipe it on good. Um, I'll let this sit for probably a few hours. And uh, the epoxy in this cup will get a little bit thicker. And I'll wipe that on again. Hopefully get rid of some of these little tiny bubbles. You probably can't see them. Yeah, you can't see them. But uh, there's these little tiny air bubbles that'll form. And I just go around and pop them as the stuff is setting up and then um, I'll come back in with a little bit of a thicker layer another thing you'll find is you get a little bit of lint and everything on here It's pretty annoying but you deal with it